What up, what up, what up? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? You boys, welcome back to another Matter 25 online rank match. And today, we have the Minnesota Vikings going up against the Kansas City Chiefs. And as you see in the title, Super Custom, this young gentleman right here had one of the most frustrating customs I've ever played this year. Not in the sense of, you know, he had all of the, you know, tough formations, which he did. He, he had some tough formations, but it was no huddle literally every single play. The only time this kid didn't know huddle is when he was on defense or he went out of bounds on offense. Nothing but no huddle, and it's extremely frustrating, and he's, and he's switching up from shotgun to under center to screens to pistol to wide receiver screens and <coughs> excuse me he had a very frustrating off what made it frustrating was the fact that it was continuous no huddle and here i am stuck in one defensive play you know um he actually ran um custom on both sides of the ball i mean our defense that helps him zero percent because i don't know how to like ever so that's not really going to help him out but uh, makes me want to get accustomed. You know, in case I run into somebody who just know how to know how to know how to know how to know how to. First time I can honestly say I went up against that this year where it's no huddle every single play. Definitely a very frustrating thing to go on ahead and go up against. Right there we convert on a huge third down. So, I mean, no surprise what it is we want to do. We want to give the ball to AP. But as we know, the Chiefs are very, very well um, run-stopping team. So, uh, I am looking at to, uh, you know, run into a couple of brick walls every now and then. Right, we hit him with the read option. Look at Ponder taking it all the way to the end zone. One time for your boy. And right there, we end up tying up the game. So here we go back on defense. And I already knew um, that I was in for a long game. You know what I mean? Just with the sheer fact that he he has such an in-your-face, non-stop, continue to know how to offense. And it was, it was definitely, definitely frustrating. And, you know, I'm just trying to gather in as much information as I can. You know what I mean? He's giving me so many different looks that I don't really know, you know, what he likes to go to and what formations. Because he's continuously, you know, switching formations, switching formations, switching formation, switching plays. So, um, <clears throat> right now, man, like I said, uh, the first couple of drives, I'll go on ahead and, you know, give him that. You know, I'm just trying to... You know, absorb as much information as I can. Try to remember what he likes to do in what situation. Try to remember, you know, what are his go-to routes? What are his first and second reads? So, you know, I'm just trying to feel like, okay, a little later on in the game, I'm just going to need one mistake. You know, I definitely feel confident on offense. You know, uh, his defense, that first drive, really didn't give me too much of an issue. And um, <clears throat> I definitely feel like, you know, with Adrian Peterson, uh, I'm going to be able to run on anybody. You know, that's just how dominant of a player he just is. So, all right, we'll continue to run the ball. Whoop! Catch him with the screen. Cut your nap in. And right there, look that we can't go. Who the hell is that, man? How, oh, sorry, he did, oh, who the hell is that, though? How did he catch up to Adrian all day? Peterson, though, man. Right, we try to catch him with the okie doke uh, tight end screen, but that goes absolutely nowhere. Second to go, surprise, surprise. We go back to Adrian Peterson for another Offensive touchdown right now. We tie the game 14-14. Like I said, man, all I'm trying to do is just hope for a mistake, man. Try and pay attention to what he's doing. Try to key in on his routes. And what I did notice is that when he was in split back, he kind of liked to go to the angle route. Um, and I definitely paid attention to that. So second and 10 right, he backs up. And there it is. Don't test the user. He is so disrespectful. Somebody please Give that gentleman a link to my channel. Let him know. Do not throw the ball my way. Like I said, all I was trying to do is retain information. And I did notice when he was in that split back that he had Jamal Charles on an angle route. And we absolutely pounced on that like a lion on a gazelle. And we uh, we actually get the interception, which was big. So right now, I feel good. I feel confident. I feel smooth. 21-14. We do get ball at halftime. So, uh, you know, feel good. You know, I'm hoping for at least one more possession. But, you know, the way he's going... Um, he definitely has some things to to learn. You know what I mean? Uh, he's in the beginning stages of, of uh, you know, playing Madden. I don't know how long he's playing Madden, but, you know, I matched up with him, so um, he can't be too far up on the leaderboards. But um, I, I can tell that he's making, you know, rookie-ish mistakes. Like, one thing he's doing is that right now is a great opportunity, since I get ball at halftime, to kill some clock. 
he's still no huddling down my throat and that's there's no reason to do that all you're doing is giving me an opportunity to possibly get another possession and you don't want that you want to keep the ball away from me take your time but he's still no huddle no huddle no huddle no huddle no huddle and if he does score it works in my favor if he actually gives me some time so right there would have been an excellent opportunity to you know pause the no huddle take your time get down the field you know and score a touchdown trying to leave me as little to no time as, uh, as possible but uh, he ends up scoring leaving me about 40 seconds with the, uh three timeouts and uh <clears throat> so right now i feel like okay if we get a field goal range we do have walsh as a kicker he has a you know phenomenal leg so um, all we need is really a couple of first downs we are in range right there i came out of uh four wide i tried a um a stretch play that went absolutely nowhere so unfortunately we didn't uh capitalize on us having you know three timeouts with little under a minute remaining so uh we do go into halftime like i said with the tie game so you know i, I feel confident you know that we can go ahead and regain the lead you know instead of me playing from behind now it's him playing from behind so uh that right there can actually change a whole lot of things i've seen players do great you know what i mean they make one mistake they're behind and then they just melt down you know what i mean some people just play from behind a little differently and i'm hoping that's the case with this guy if i'm actually able to rekindle the lead so right here man we just run with ap get ourselves the first down and uh he had a phenomenal game phenomenal game and you know was i expecting ap to have a a, a great game and eh, you know i was expecting him to have a good game a great game he had i wasn't sure because the chiefs have a like i said a very good run defense I man they hit hard they're very aware their linebackers are monstrous they got barry back there they just have a very very good defense that's built to stop the run so if i had you know a, a game where i didn't do that well i wouldn't be surprised against the chiefs you know what i mean so um i'm actually you know very you know happy that we're actually pretty much dominating the defense keeping the ball on the ground and just doing exceptionally well running the ball against a very tough defense so 28 21 right there uh decides to run the ball and again he's back to his you know high pace no huddle offense and you know mixing in some runs and uh it's definitely frustrating man right here he's no huddles into a wide receiver screen and just lets me know this guy just got customs for days right there another use the interception that is a two-piece give it to me baby uh, right there was another use the interception back from that same formation of uh, the split back and again he wanted that angle route but we cut that off and um I can tell that he has potential. You know what I mean? He just needs to limit his uh, his his errors. His problem is with you continuously no huddling, no huddling, no huddling. Somebody like me, like my defense is ass. <laughs> but the one, woo, that right there was a nasty back juke. That was a big whoop. <laughs> one thing that um, I do pretty good on defense is uh, trying to remember what it is you're doing. Just try to make. Uh, adjustments even though if you guys watched last video i got destroyed by the same damn trail route <laughs> but um <clears throat> you know I, I try to just remember what it is you're doing i'm not going to be able to stop you on what it is you're doing we all know that my defense is ass but i just try to you know remember what it is you're doing you know try to pay attention and and he showed his entire offense like in one drive you know that is one thing i really don't like to do like i will sit in strong power all game if you allow me to because you know there's no reason to go into you know deeper in the playbook if i don't have to you know what i mean so yeah i got different runs for third and five different passes for fourth and two and you know what i mean even though i don't i punt on fourth down but you guys know what i mean <laughs> um you know i try to reserve as much as my playbook as possible i want to show you as little as possible so if i could just show you one play that's great you know what i mean if i can continue having success with that one play i'll run that one play you know what i mean my goal is to try and show you as little as my offense as possible and um i felt like his problem was he showed me everything you know one drive bam i knew everything once he started no huddling i kind of caught on to what was his screen formation what was his handoff formation you know what was this what was that and uh you know if he just slows down on the no huddle a little bit then uh you know just save a little bit of his of his uh, formations for you know giving me a first look like at at the end of the first quarter, I seen everything he had to, to do on his offense. You know what I mean? There wasn't a formation he got into where I was like, damn, I wonder what he's going to do. Is he going to run? Is he going to pass? Is it a handoff? Is it a screen? Is it a play action? You know what I mean? After the first quarter, I pretty much knew what it was he wanted to do. And that still didn't help. You know what I mean? My defense still sucks where I can know what you're going to do. And I still won't stop you. But um, I just try to make the adjustments and just hope for a mistake. And 
Uh, we came through with two big mistakes on those angle routes that he tried to hit me out of the backfield. And that right there was definitely the difference maker of the game. Because like I said, man, his high uh, pace, you know, offense was definitely frustrating. Just continuous. No huddle, no huddle, no huddle, no huddle. And I'm sitting in like a cover two sink out of quarters. And I'm like, dang it. This isn't a good defense for me to be in, man. He's just eating me alive. And it's it's definitely a frustrating thing, man. But I'm definitely, uh, you know, happy we were able to, uh, you know, take away his read on that split back, get a couple interceptions. Like I said, that right there was definitely the difference maker of the game. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, it's your boy GS, and we are signing out. Peace.